Hey guys, welcome back for part two of the spars. This Sunday, we plan to do the interior skin. Without further ado, let's get to part two of the spars. Okay guys, what I'm doing here is, uh, this is the, the roof spars for the fan. These spars have to be 14 by 14, so what I did is I took two of the roof spars, put them together, lined everything up. I found the middle of them are seven inches off each side. So that way you get a 14 by 14 opening. Then I cut one of the uh, other roof spars I have down to two pieces of 14 inches. So you just separate these and throw these in. And you've got your 14 by 14 opening for your fantastic fan. Um, now if you were going to do a rooftop air conditioner, this would not be enough. You want to kind of tie, I put two by fours on the flat and tie it into the walls. I never put rooftop air conditioners in mine. I think they're an overkill. I think that air conditioners are an overkill, period, in a teardrop. That's my personal opinion. I live in Michigan. I don't live in a hot, humid climate. But I have been camping in a hot, humid climate and not had one. And I'm only in my camper at night. So it really doesn't bother me. The fan's more than enough to do what I need it to do at night. The, the air is cool enough and it moves enough air to where I don't think air conditioning. I'm not going to be sitting in my camper in the middle of the day. Even if it's pouring rain, in in the summertime I'm chances are I'm going to be out so that's just my personal opinion you do what you want to do uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some screws through the end grain here like I said this is a real structural don't need to hold a whole lot of weight for the fantastic fan so I'm not really worried you could put a couple pocket holes if you wanted to and some do some don't I'm not going to I'm just going to use the end grain you know through the two or through the spar and into the end grain because it doesn't have to support any weight so I'm going to do that. I'll spin the camera around and you can watch us put in the rest of the spars.
<laughs> well, that gets all the spars in. We're not going to put the last spar in until we determine where the bulkhead is going to go for the galley. We're, we're building the cabin to fit a mattress that we bought. So the, mat the, the cabin area is built to fit that mattress. Um, whatever's left will be a galley. And she's fine with that. Uh, as long as she's got a little countertop for her to cook and prepare food and a couple of cabinets to store stuff, I think should be good. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you found this video helpful. Next week is going to be the interior skin and then we'll get on to the wiring. So until then, build on. <laughs>